Hello, 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 and welcome to facebook.com forward slash Jamie Oler. Today, I'm going to go over three simple steps to grow your business starting right now. As you're joining me, go ahead and give me a quick hello in the comments there. Uh, if you're a small business and you'd like to uh, get more information about how to grow your business, that's what this is all about, okay? Um, you have to post content on social media to grow your business. We live in a day and age right now that it's it's not a, you know, should I or when, how often or anything. It's a must. You have to be publishing content to social media on a consistent basis, okay? So I'm going to go over that today, and I'm, gonna, I'm just going to give you some, some simple stuff for you guys to be able to do, okay? It's not rocket science here, but just take notes, okay? Take quick notes. I'm going to keep this nice and short, okay? Before somebody is going to buy your product or your book, book your service or whatever, they have to know, like, and trust you, right? Everybody knows that. You guys, we, you, this isn't nothing, anything new that I'm sharing with you. Everybody type in know, like, and trust. Because in today's social arena, you have to build that more now than never. So the content that you post on social media creates the know, like, and trust between you and your ideal clients and, and customers. It's really simple, guys, seriously. But the social media world, it makes it happen so much quicker. Yet there's, there's some sidebars that I'll teach you guys later on. But So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go over the three things that I feel that you need to be doing right now. Number one, it's the, the credibility type of content. Everybody type that in there. Number one, credibility content. And I see a bunch of you guys joining me. Hello, Priscilla. Hello, Stephen. What's up, Neville? Hi, hi Phil Dora. What's going on, Dominic? Bruce, how are you? Sharon, Bob, how are you guys? Beautiful. No like and trust, right? You guys got it. Cindy, no like and trust. Arnold, no like and trust. Darren, no like and trust, right, guys? So you guys get that, all right? We The no like and trust factor is there. Now, how do we start doing number one, which is credibility content? And please write that in there. You, when, you, when you are listening to a live or a training or anything like that, the more you can take action immediately on the stuff somebody's presenting to you, the better off you're going to be as learning that. So if you write down number one, credibility content, even if it's on a sticky note, I don't care. Just write credibility content. What is credibility content? Well, credibility content, it's going to highlight Kind of like the professional side of you. You know, the suit and tie guy or the, the dressed up lady. How you present yourself to the, to the business world. It's going to showcase who you are as the leader, as the expert in making pizzas and being a chiropractor and being a doctor and be, being the accountant. You have to position yourself and bring that credibility to, the, to, to social media so people recognize you as that authority. Okay, the credibility content proves that you can be trusted and that you can be taken seriously. Okay, it's kind of a quick little sidebar. So over the weekend, my wife, she took uh, my son, Jesse, who's 16, and now he's he's into looking good and he's buying hair stuff for, for him. You know, he's putting doing his hair up. Hey, mom, can you show me how to use this stuff? And he, he's literally getting into that. So Candace was saying, saying to me yesterday, she said, it was so funny while we were at Target. Like I saw girls checking my son out. I don't know how I feel about that. Okay. He was taken seriously just by what he was wearing. He dressed up and he looked really good. That's that credibility content. And how can you get that on social media? By doing podcasts, radio, uh, going on radio interviews, TV interview clips, putting quotes and thoughts and your perspectives out there on social media through live broadcasting, which is what I'm doing here. And I'll be training you guys more on that later on. That's one of the most important things you can do to add credibility out there. Just get on live and talk about something for three to five minutes that you know in and out. All right. Number two, because I want to keep this kind of short. Connection content. So everybody do me a quick favor and type in Connection content. Type that in there for me. Number two, connection content. Hey, Lori Saunders, how are you? Glad to see you on here. James Curry, what's happening, man? Okay, type that in there real quick because connection content, this is going to gonna highlight the personal side of you. Now, you don't have to get too personal if you don't want to, but people need to relate to you, okay? It's going to showcase who you are when the workday is over, okay? The connection content just demonstrates that you aren't all business. 
that you are a, a real dad, a real husband, uh, a real person, a real friend, right? There's more about you and more, more important stuff about you that people need to know other than just, I'm a chiropractor, I'm an accountant, I'm a, I'm a, a pizza shop owner, I'm a whatever it is that you do to, to be able to connect with your audience from a personal level brings so much more credibility to everything. So if you have number one, the credibility content going where they trust you as the, the leading expert, but then they can relate to you. He's just a dad. He's just the mom that's going to the sporting events where you, you don't have to tell the kids names and everything, but Hey guys, I'm going to talk today about accounting and here's some accounting advice. And Hey, I got to keep it short because I got to go tonight is my daughter's last softball game. People can relate to that. They understand that or sharing photos of, of you with uh, your family and your friends, right? What about, how about a book you just read? How about going live and talking about something that you, you read in that book and relate that to your credibility content? And as this is the book I read, it was Harry Potter. Man, Harry Potter is awesome. And in there, they talk about, I don't know, Harry Potter money. I'm just making it up now. And let me tell you a little bit about my understanding in regards to accounting when it comes to money. So you related, you're relatable because you like Harry Potter, but you brought it back into your credibility content as well. So you merged the two together. Very, very powerful. And number three, which I really, really love number three. All right. I mean, they're all valuable, but customer content is really where the gold is at. When you can have, when you highlight your customers, okay, when you can actually put them out there, it's not, it's not, look at me, look at me. I'm the, I'm the superhero accountant. I'm the superhero chiropractor. I'm the superhero pizza shop owner. No, it's content about your customers using your product, using the services, right? Client customer testimonials, people giving you reviews, people talking about um, the last time they ate pizza there, or if they share photos of them and their family at, at your establishment right? All of those things of you bringing the customer content into the realm of being able to share that socially takes number one, number two, and number three to a whole nother level. So if you combine all three of these, adding credibility content, connection content, and customer content to your social media on an ongoing basis, I'm just telling you, as a coach, as a consultant, those three things will instantaneously, I'm talking right now, impact your business, generate you new customers, and reignite old customers that haven't been there in a while because they want to be around people that they know, like, and trust. Hopefully this has been valuable for you. Type a quick 777 in the comments if you enjoyed my live, and I'll talk to you guys again soon on another fantastic topic to grow your company. Take care, everyone.